We're on the putting green today, and while we generally don't really get into technique a whole lot, today, Justin, to break 90, we're gonna talk about putting and really get into the technical components of the putting stroke. So with a lot of pro-am players that you've seen, um, you probably see some pretty wild strokes out there. Yes. But what are some common differences between someone who shoots 100 that you've played with and players on tour? Well, one of the things I see a lot of amateurs do is, is they use too much hands in their stroke. Um, and this leads to inconsistency. It's, um, you know, it's important to hit a putt solid and in the center of the club face because it does make a difference in making putts versus missing. And so um, I see a lot of amateurs that, that use a lot of hand movement because it is such a short motion. Um, uh, see a lot of hand movement instead of more of a shoulder-based swing where the arms and wrists uh, just move more like a pendulum. And talk about the, the effect of that on the putter face going through impact into the putt and the roll of the golf ball. Right, well, if you come in and say it's a wristy stroke and you start to break down before you get to impact, it adds loft and it can also close or open the face. Uh, and so in order to be consistent on the greens, you've got to, to um, meet the ball with the putter face uh, as squarely as possible. And again, hitting the ball off center will affect how a ball rolls. Okay, so if you don't mind set up and let's hit a couple of putts here. And the other key thing to note about what you're doing here, your eyes are pretty much centered over the golf ball and you're just making nice smooth strokes. So you notice there's not a lot of acceleration in my stroke, but there's no deceleration. The, the, I don't want the putter blade to slow down through impact uh, because that leads to an inconsistent hit and not a very good roll. So when you practice, you know, one thing that I've seen you putt enough, you have great speed control. A lot of the technical components that contribute to that are a very quiet lower body that may not even move at all. Yeah, I feel like in the stroke, really the only thing that's moving or, or creating the movement is the shoulders. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want any hand movement uh, and certainly no lower body movement. Now, once you get into longer putts or you're putting from well off the green, then you may need to get a little lower body movement so your stroke, you don't have to take it back so far. But in general, in putting, it starts in the shoulders and just works like this pendulum uh, that, that creates very consistent movement and a very consistent roll. Okay, so for everybody out there, if you were to say, practice this way, what would you prescribe? I would tell them lighter grip pressure is better on the greens. Um, tension's a killer around the greens, and so see a lot of people that grip the, 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 the putter very tightly. And so a lighter grip pressure, and feel like you're hitting it more with your left hand or your left arm than you are your right. Uh, that's why I think you see a lot of guys that go to a claw type grip that really putt better because the movement is more initiated in the left side versus the right. Okay, that is fantastic advice right there. These are some really key tips. If you wanna break 90, listen to these, pay attention, practice them, you'll get there. Never miss the latest videos from your Dr. Design golf fitness experts. Subscribe now.